Hey everybody, Jason here. Uh, first of all, thanks a lot for clicking onto this video. This was nearly a catastrophe when it comes to the audio of the recording. And um, I have no idea what happened, but the pitch of my voice actually ended up really, really deep. So I had to extract all the audio, go into Audacity, and <laughs> then adjust the pitch. And uh, on top of that, there was clipping throughout the entire video, so uh, it almost sounds as if some of my words are getting cut off. However, I had a lot of fun, and I, I, I'm just hoping that uh, you guys can look past the audio issues and enjoy what's here, which is uh, me kind of feeling like a little kid on Christmas unboxing this Raspberry Pi 400. Anyway, I'm going to get out of your hair now, and uh, let's roll the video. Thanks, guys. Before we get into it, I want to take a moment to thank our new sponsor, Linode. If it runs on Linux, you can run it on Linode. They have multiple distros available, including Ubuntu, CentOS, Alpine, and Arch, by the way. They've got multiple server plans to make any app or service flexible and scalable. You can use a Linode server to host a blog, to set up uh, your own personal VPN, or you can do what I did, which is fire up a dedicated Jitsi server for upcoming community interviews and hangouts. Also, Shickle is gonna be running a Minecraft server, and that is also super simple to install. Linode has 24-7, 365 support available by phone, regardless of your plan size, so you can get help from a real person if you need it. Right now, Linux for Everyone viewers can get started on Linode with a $100 credit by going to linode.com slash Linux for Everyone. Linode's been doing cloud computing since 2003, which is actually three years before Amazon entered the picture, so they're not trying to take over the retail world like other companies. Just good old-fashioned Linux-loving cloud computing. Linode.com slash Linux for everyone. And uh, again, a huge, huge thank you to Linode for sponsoring Linux for everyone. It is 7 o'clock p.m. here. <laughs> I've had this box since 11 a.m. It has been taunting me. All I've wanted to do all day is open this box. This is the Raspberry Pi 400. So this video is gonna be pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm going to unbox this thing. And then at the end, I'm gonna answer some of your questions from our first video. I noticed some recurring questions in the comments. And so I actually reached out to Raspberry Pi PR and they answered all three of them. So I'm gonna let you know what they had to say at the end. I am historically bad at uh, doing unboxing videos. In fact, I have, um, oh, there it is. Raspberry Pi 400 personal computer kit. It's so cute, isn't it? Let me take my Radeon 7. This is my Radeon 7 graphics card. So just so you can get a sense of the size. Okay. So this is from the Pi Hut in the UK. I live in Croatia uh, and I, ordered this Monday morning from the Pi Hut and I chose DHL Express delivery and it got here today. Wednesday is when I'm recording this. So it basically got here in 48 hours. I'm really, really impressed with that speed. This is the first product I've actually been able to buy of all the recent launches, the NVIDIA RTX cards and the Xbox Series X and the PS5. So thank you Raspberry Pi and Pi Hut. All right. Let's see what's inside. Um, I hope the lighting is, oh, it's so cute. It really is. It's adorable. All right, so here it is. The Raspberry Pi 400. So let's take a look at the actual, uh, the IO, the, the connectivity for this. I still can't believe, look at this. Look at this in my hands. I mean, it's, it's, it's so small. Oh man, that's, that's, wow. This is the computer. This is the computer. It takes a minute to actually wrap your head around how compact this thing is. It's not even very heavy. Wow, okay. So we have this 40 pin connector. Here we have a micro SD slot. And this should have Raspberry Pi OS preloaded on it. And it is a 16 gigabyte uh, SanDisk micro SD two micro HDMI ports. We have our USB-C uh, power, 
we have two USB 3.0s and a USB 2.0 and our ethernet port. Uh, okay, so that is the, that is the Raspberry Pi 400. Let's see what else is in here. Man, this is fun. So, oh man, what? Okay, this is awesome. Uh, okay. So, we have the Raspberry Pi official USB-C power supply. The Raspberry Pi mouse. There is another layer of goodies down here. Uh, it's an SD card adapter, so if you want to squeeze this into, like, for example, my uh, my Oryx Pro laptop has a full-size SD card slot, so I would just slot in that micro SD and be able to load up uh, new operating systems. For example, Ubuntu 20.10, which we will be doing a video on. So we do have our micro HDMI cable included. And last but absolutely not least, the official Raspberry Pi Beginner's Guide, How to Use Your New Computer. This is a paperback book. Look at this. Look at this. I've never seen this before. So it's, I mean, full color, uh, tons and tons of interesting information in here. Welcome to the official Raspberry Pi Beginner's Guide. Okay, so the table of contents, right? This is freaking amazing. I love this already. I feel like a little kid on Christmas. All right, so getting to know Raspberry Pi, getting started with your Raspberry Pi, using it, uh, programming with Scratch 3, maybe that's something that I'll dip my toes into, uh, programming with Python, physical computing Scratch and Python, physical computing with the Sense Hat Raspberry Pi camera module, and then there are just a ton of, I mean, look at, so this is every page. Every page is full color, there's illustrations, it's just gorgeous. Pick any page, full color, illustrations, all of this is $100. Wow. Okay. Finally, the official white and red Raspberry Pi mouse. I have no idea, I, you know, I've never had any of this stuff before, so it'd be interesting to see how tiny this is. It's so damn adorable. Ah. <laughs> so there we go. This is the, yeah, I mean, it's, it feels, it feels good. Yeah. Nice and clicky. This is the official Raspberry Pi mouse. Beautiful. The Raspberry Pi 400 available. This is going to cost you uh, $70 by itself. Let us know in the comments what kind of stuff you want us to test on this beautiful, adorable little PC. Uh, yes, we will be playing with uh, Raspberry Pi OS, and we will be installing Ubuntu 20.10 to test that out as well. And uh, there's a lot of other distributions that are available for this. So we're gonna try and do as much as possible uh, within a few videos over the next two or three weeks. Okay, so in our first uh, Raspberry Pi 400 video, there were three questions that always rose to the top. Question number one, will there be an eight gigabyte version of the Raspberry Pi 400? This is a response uh, the Raspberry Pi PR sent me. We don't have any plans at the moment, but we will listen to the market. Definitely heard a few requests for this already. With the initial release, we wanted to focus on giving the typical user something really cost effective. If you're running Raspberry Pi OS and doing consumery things or even typical development, I'm not sure there's a huge benefit, but if heavier weight distributions become popular, I can see an argument for it. Uh, one of the things I thought would be a natural fit for this is having Ubuntu 20.10 pre-installed since there is now a Raspberry Pi desktop version. Uh, so, I asked, will the Pi 400 at some point ship with Ubuntu 20.10 pre-installed or as an option? Their response, we probably won't do this ourselves, but we would support any reseller who wanted to. So resellers, get on that, uh, because that's a great beginner-friendly option, I think. And a lot of you also asked this. Is the keyboard firmware open source and user programmable? And here's the response. 
No, we're dependent on our controller vendor for binary releases, but we are aware of how much fun it would be to play with this firmware, actually probably even more fun on the official standalone keyboard rather than on Pi 400. And we hope to be able to provide some options here in 2021. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it to the end. Uh, hope you found the unboxing and the Q&A valuable. And if you have any thoughts on this or any requests, uh, leave a comment down there in the comment section thingy on a YouTube or library. And we'll be back soon with more content on the Raspberry Pi. <laughs> wow. Until we chat again, uh, make sure to join the Linux for Everyone Discord and Telegram groups, and I'll see you guys very soon. Take care, and take care of each other, okay? Bye.